Hey guys, Oversight, and today I'm bringing you a video about my Walter P38 I just got in the mail. Um, this uh, this is a World War II uh, German military pistol. This is a, um, well, I mean it was originally made for World War II for the German military, but this is a civilian uh, trade-in, so this was used by police officers uh, after World War II in Germany, um, and they traded it in for civilian use. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up so you can see here we have a nice box that it comes with. It says Walter P38, 9mm Parabellum, uh, all that stuff. Down here it says complete with holster and extra magazine. It was crossed out. I, it does come with an extra magazine. Um, as you can see on the side it says made in West Germany. If I can keep it in the camera. Made in West Germany uh, and some stuff on there that was just written. And then on this side we have some uh, other information like the serial number, uh, its caliber which is 9mm, and over here same thing, Walter. So when we open up the top, inside I will have the holster with the, with the firearm, put that over here. Uh, I got, uh, mine came with two gun locks and a gun key, so I would turn this and, you know, put this through the trigger and lock it so no one could use it. A uh, safety warning, read carefully before whatever instructions about, you know, don't shoot yourself in the face. And a assembly, disassembly, lubrication and ammunition maintenance and storage manual for the Walter P38 um, it's basically got everything in here from disassembly to whoops disassembly to diagrams which is pretty sweet uh, double action it, it, it explains everything so this is nice and then just the empty box and then we have the firearm so we have the Walter P38. Take out the magazine. It's empty. The chamber is empty. So this is a this is now considered safe or as safe as it is. Um, right off the bat, it does have uh, stamps on it. You can see that they crossed out something there, and there's a stamp with an X here. And then on this side over here, we have the import stamp. I don't know if you guys can see that, but not this right here. That's the serial number. Right above that is the import stamp. And then on over here, it says Walter Carl Walter uh, Waffen Fragenbin something Yom Du uh, P38 caliber 9mm. Uh, the slide matches the serial on the stock. This is a fully matching uh, firearm. Let me decock it here. This is fully matching. Um, this this is a P19 magazine uh, that it came with, or a, a P P1 magazine. This one is the P1. It does have a P38 magazine, which is the spare magazine that came with it. And this P38 uh, magazine. Um, serial number, I haven't checked it. The serial number does not match on the P38 magazine that came with this, but uh, I guess that's okay. It's very rare that you'll find matching magazines in the first place anyway. So, yeah. So we have the firearm. Uh, this is a semi-automatic double action, so if I pull this trigger, the hammer back here will start to be activated or I can just pull the hammer back and it will lock until I pull the trigger and when I pull the trigger the hammer will fall pinching my finger ow so um, very cool uh, this was kind of like the competitor for the uh, th this was kind of like the German 1911 you can say um, I've shot 1911s they're, they're nice I'm not gonna say a lot of bad things about them I, I do have my negative aspects to them but I've shot this in the past. I wanted to really get one once I shot one. I love this gun. I really love the sights on this. Let's see if I can get it in the 
camera is terrible here. Oh, there we go. The sights on this are just, I mean, first, I, I think they're amazing. They're just, I can bring it up and it's just right in my hand. You know, it's it's just perfectly level. German guns in World War II were made to feel really nice in your hand. You know, it just feels amazing. Not that a 1911 doesn't, but I like the Walter P38 design better. Um, although if I had to take one or the other, like in a survival situation, I would definitely take it. I would definitely take the 1911 because it's more reliable than the Walter P38. Um, when it deals with like needing less maintenance, I'm hitting the camera tripod, sorry, ne needing less maintenance, the 1911 is more reliable. But overall, I would take the P38 over the 1911. So. As I did with my C96, I'm going to test the functionality of the ejection system, which gives me a general idea of how well it was taken care of. So let me load up a magazine here. So the uh, the P38 holds eight rounds per magazine over the 1911, which only held seven rounds. So you had one more shot in the P38 than you did in the 1911. And uh, there's a huge debate, you know, on whether, you know, 45 is better than 9, and, you know, 9 is better than 45, and, you know, it's, it's you know, a lot of people say it's preference, and my, my ideology behind it just comes down to a bullet's a bullet, you know, if this bullet hits you, it's going to hurt, and it's probably going to kill you, you know, and having one more bullet, may, maybe if it's smaller, you know, a bullet's still a bullet, and you know more bullets equal more pain and more chance that you know he'll be taken down I guess you know bigger bullets would do more damage but if you miss you might want to have the extra bullets rather than the bigger bullet so that's kinda of my theory on it not that I'm I don't like 45 I just prefer 9 millimeter and it's easier to shoot it's cheaper and I just think it's an all around better round so going to load up the P38, one round in, closed. You can see that the, um, this is not aiming toward anyone, over there is a window by the way. Um, you can see that there is a pin that pops out here that says that there is a round in the chamber. So I guess I should bring over this box, try and catch them. So finger off the trigger, this is live ammunition pointing away from everyone. Well, it's just me right now, but pointing away. So go ahead and all right. So all eight shells ejected. The chamber is empty. Just to make sure, no bullets in the magazine. Magazine ejects. The slide stayed back with the magazine was empty, and the slide closes. So. I deem this firearm fully functional for firing. Um, I can't wait to take it. Um, you guys will be excited to know that when I post this video, I will most likely have this up Thursday. I'm shooting this on uh, like Wednesday at like 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh, so actually it'll be Thursday at 2 o'clock in the morning. I, I plan on having it up by like, by like the mid Thursday or night Thursday. I'll have it up before Friday because Friday I'm going to the shooting range and I'm going to be shooting this boy and I'm going to be shooting my C96 and I'm going to, if no one really shows up, I'm going to be talking to the range master and I'm going to see if I can dual wield these, my uh, my P30. Sorry about that, sorry about that camera cut out. Uh, anyway, I was going to dual wield my P38 and my 1911, or not my 1911, my C96. And I'm gonna see if I can, you know, shoot them side by side because I was always curious as to whether the nine millimeter or the seven point six three by twenty five that the C ninety six shot would have more recoil. Um, I know it's kind of a different gun. You know, you can't have, you know, this this was never calibered in seven point six three by twenty five, and I don't think anyone's ever ever calibrated in it. Uh, I know that they calibered the C ninety six and nine. I just don't have a nine cal a nine millimeter calibered C ninety six. And even if it was calibered in nine millimeter, blah blah, blah given tongue tongue twisted here. Even if it was calibered in nine millimeter, it's still a completely different gun. But it would just give me a general idea of which one kicks worse. Um, I'm assuming that the nine millimeter would kick less, 
um, than the 7.63 by 25, um, and it's just a general, general, uh, well, well built round. Uh, so I'm gonna say that the nine millimeter is gonna be better than the 7.63 by 25. But I don't know. I've never looked at any kind of like ballistic tests or anything with it. I'm just kind of going off of what I think. So uh, that's that. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, remember to subscribe, uh, comment, and let me know what you guys thought in the video. And uh, if you have any suggestions or ideas on what you want me to uh, do next time in the video, uh, let me know in the comments below. And remember to follow me on my Steam community page if you're here for my gaming videos sometimes and you end up watching these. I put that up if you guys want to play games with me. Uh, I will be putting up like public matches um, on my Steam community page so you guys will be informed immediately as soon as I post it that they'll be up and then you guys can join and have a chance to be on my YouTube channel. So thanks for watching guys and have a good day.